world what is going on <sighs> you know I had such high hopes for this movie. I, I really did. I, 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 I'm I not kidding. I thought this movie was going to be fantastic. It, it, it was not. There will be spoilers coming. So if you have not seen it, please go watch it and then come back. And when you do, drop a like for your boy if you don't mind. And uh, if you enjoy the content, go and subscribe, man. I, I'm just, I'm just going to go into it. This movie was bad. This movie was bad for a multitude of reasons that I will go into right now. Okay, you all know the plot. You, you've seen it. It ain't complicated. I'm just going to go into what I hated about this movie. But there were some 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 parts of this movie that did stand out that I, I did appreciate. It wasn't all bad, but it was close. It was damn close. My first issue with this movie was just too many jokes. Way too many jokes. I, I swear to you, in the first 10 minutes, I was talking to my boy and I was like, yo, we might have to walk out of this one. I'm, I'm not I'm not even lying. When the scene happened with him saving babies and a dog and and put a baby in the microwave and, and put them all in the cart and everything like that. And I know. What they were going for, they were going for that quicksilver aspect from X Men. They want, you know, they wanted to do something like that. I get it. It just didn't work here. Okay, it just ended up being absolutely ridiculous. It was all these contrivances. These babies were about to, you know, be unalived by all of this stuff that was coming down all at the same time, and he just had to stop it from happening. And it just looks so ridiculous and i'm like okay well it's it's bound to get better right the second thing i hate i i i i don't like the way he runs it looks dumb okay in my opinion the the flash show and the the cartoons had it perfect they show him moving at a ridiculous amount of speed in this movie and the previous movie, they slow him down. His arms are like out here. He's doing this mess. It just looks ridiculous. It looks it looks stupid. Okay. In the show, he he's he's moving. They show him moving at full speed. And when they when they get a close up on him, he's moving at really fast speed. But the camera is keeping up with him. That is how Flash should be. And his hands should be like this. Like he's like he's getting it. Okay. Not not this swimming swimming. You know nonsense and I, I saw some people try to explain this way like oh if you were moving at such and such a speed shut up shut up okay it is a it is a comic book movie and it looks dumb all right moving on to the next thing this movie had a few things in what i call a sleight of hand movie okay um it was done very well but to people who know better who will who recognize these things go but what about, and I'll explain it to you in a minute. There, there are at least two things that I saw in this movie that they didn't touch on. And I guarantee you a lot of the people out there who watched this movie didn't even think about. Okay? But I'm going to save those. Just, we'll get to it. The next thing, why on earth if the Flash knew exactly what time this lightning bolt was coming through this window to charge or to make him flash why would he stand in the way of it why why would he do that why would he you know what's coming you stood right in the way i'll tell you why it had to happen because he had to lose his powers for this movie to happen because otherwise you couldn't explain why he wouldn't just go home which is there's a better way of, i don't i don't care i don't care okay it was stupid it was so stupid it so Barry Allen says that a lot of the superheroes he tried to contact, uh, Aquaman hadn't become Aquaman yet or some nonsense like that. Uh, Superman, as we know him, didn't exist in this world yet. They were looking for the wrong person. Uh, Wonder Woman was busy. Wonder Woman was busy. Busy? You were busy. 
The in Zod put out that message to the entire world. The whole world. Okay? In every language. If if my memory serves from Man of Steel, right? You were too busy to save the world? That's literally your only job, Wonder Woman. That's your job. It's, what were you what were you doing that you couldn't be there to to save the planet? <laughs> she didn't even show up when the battle started. Just, I mean, I get it. She can't be there, but the explanation that her phone was busy or she just not picking up is just it, it it's it doesn't it doesn't work. It doesn't work. She it's her job to say Oh my god, it's so bananas. Uh Flash's suit. Flash's suit looks it looks it looks stupid. It looks stupid. I, I like the flare of, of yellow that he has on his suit where he you know when he gets ready to take off all of that, but he's too jacked. Okay. The Flash is not jacked. He's he is thin, he is fast, and he's not he doesn't have like this bulky ginormous huge pecs suit. Okay, that and a helmet. It, that's I again the show involving the Flash did it perfectly. His suit was perfect. As a matter of fact, I think he was a far better Barry Allen than this klutz. I, I just I don't see him being a good Barry Allen. He just he's just too he's just too fidgety. He he you know very un, unsure of himself. Very like sketchy. It's like he walking around high all the time. Just like he's not he's not good. There were a few things that I did enjoy about this movie, and here here they go. Okay, uh, Michael Keaton's Batman was pretty good. The dialogue that he had was 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 good i enjoyed listening to him i enjoy seeing him again loved looking at the old batmobile brought back a lot of memories um i thought that part was fantastic i, I really loved seeing him back on screen again uh as batman i don't want this to come across anyway as though he had anything to do with the with the ridiculousness of this movie i thought he did a fantastic job the relationship that barry allen had with his mom was another standout, I think, part of this movie that I enjoyed. Um, the woman that they got to play her did a phenomenal job. She did an absolutely knockout job uh, playing his mom, conveying the the emotion and everything. And when when Ezra Miller was playing, or when he was in front of her, and he is trying to portray that emotion, I thought he as well did a wonderful job. That is the only time I enjoyed watching Ezra Miller in this movie at all. I take that back. I, I did get a kick out of the jokes. Um, the the seeing himself on screen or seeing himself in real life, realizing how much of a douche that he is, and you know what he was like when he was younger. I did enjoy those moments. I just feel like that a lot of those moments took away from the seriousness of what was happening in my mind like in 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 uh in endgame or infinity War, which which were i i realized that they are the top of the of the you know mountain if you will as far as perfection in the way of superhero movies i get that not a lot of movies are going to be able to touch that but when you're trying to convey a serious moment um I feel like you have to draw, you have to pull back the comedy a little bit so that we can get vested in in the moment. Like you have to be able to to realize that this is serious. Lives are at stake. You can't be telling jokes. And it, it's it's in that reason that I when everything happened with Ezra's mother and Ezra towards the end of this movie that I just I didn't feel anything. I just I didn't feel like I I, I felt bad, but I, I didn't feel as bad as I should have because this was just chock full of shit. Zod in this movie was dry. Zod was dry. I loved the performance of Supergirl, but her dialogue was dry. No one really had anything important to add to any conversation. They were just doing, you know? The, the you would see Zod from afar you would see him on TV or you would ha you would have these short conversations 
that you would see Zod having with the military, you know, telling them, you know, that, that their time was up or, or something to that effect. But there was no real dialogue between the bad guy, which was Zod, and and the Flash. It just, it's more of a, hey, I remember this happened. We got to go take care of this. We've already lived this. Okay. And I don't think that that was, I don't think that that was done too well. I think Zod should have had more of a, a role in this movie to portray the seriousness of his threat. Here now are the sleight of hand that I was talking about. So in this movie, who was the actual villain in this movie? Was it Zod? Cause Zod was barely in it. Zod was, was the eventuality of the entire thing. To me, there was no villain in this. There was, it was just a, a, like a time thing that, that he, that Barry had to fix. So basically, there's 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 nothing for Barry to to fight. Not really. Um, he just had to learn a lesson, and then he went home. And thing two, <clears throat> you did all this running around, and you you were trying to save your mother. You were trying to keep your father out of jail. You did all these other things, right? You 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 had to figure out the you had to figure out the evidence. You had to find out. You had to move the can to to a different shelf to get your father to look up and all that. And that's all fantastic. What didn't he go look for? I'll give you a second to figure it out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is correct. Barry Allen never attempted to find out who his actual mother killer, mother's killer was. He did all that peering into time and never once stopped to think, who actually killed my mother? Um, I'm aware of who killed Barry's mother. I am not going to say in case they in case they decide to do a flash part two, but <clears throat> a lot of you right now are probably going, Oh shit. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. That's right. You didn't, but you heard it here probably third or fifth. I'm pretty sure somebody else has talked about this by now, but yes. Um, as I sat in the movie theater, I'm like, you, you don't want to see who, who killed your mom. Cause that is a whole nother story in and of itself. But yeah, I, I just thought that this movie could have been a lot better than what it was um I, I don't i don't know why dc keeps failing at these movies but you have the pieces to do such a remarkable job and you just keep failing and shitting all over that bed i just i feel like you got to get rid of all the jokes and you have to take your roles you have to take these roles of superheroes more serious okay because at the end of the day only thing that a superhero is is meant to do is to inspire is to is to give people hope to defeat a villain be it in in i don't know in everyday life depending on what it is you are facing <clears throat> to inspire you to do bigger and better things and to to be able to to face down that thing that you you know that you can't beat in your own life like these are what heroes were designed to do and they just keep missing the mark so that's my take on the flash i thought it was shit i thought it was a whole heaping pile of shit except for uh michael keaton and uh barry allen's mom and uh y'all let me know what your favorite dc movie was man and i appreciate y'all hanging out with me and uh i'll get with y'all soon all right later